guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode three of Holding Mia. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Hori didn't have friends. Yeah, Mia didn't have friends. Mm. No one worked with Mia. Mm, Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Uh. Oh. Yeah, what is weird too? You're both weird. You just you work together. Did I turn off my... Yeah, I did. What the hell? Okay, sorry. I got a weird text. <laughs> oh it's okay, don't worry. 
me about it. And there's your four. I don't know, something just still tells me that even though he has friends, he just feels alone. Anyone could feel like that, though. I don't turn hate when they do that. What did you say? <laughs> oh, you look so cute like that. <laughs> Plus, this isn't a boy's love. I mean, yeah, a guy can say that straight. But a good weird. No, don't be sorry. Mm hmm. <laughs> My God, he just looks pretty every single time. I can't. We need a guy's moment.
That's what I thought too. I would have assumed that he would have called you Toru again. Oh, let me guess. I you going to snake your way up in that? Of course. You could lie. Yeah, but you would like him, right? I mean, come on. The chemistry between y'all? Like, oh my god, I can't. <laughs> oh, poor Mia. <laughs> Yeah, you stay here. Or you can go with her. Huh? <laughs> There's a part two?
Yeah. <laughs> I think Honey would be fine if Mia touches her. <laughs> You know what you are, man? Yeah, because the fact is he overheard the conversation. Of course it is. Mm-hmm. No, he's right. No.
Oh. So that's what happened. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, you're friends. So, go make up. Go kiss make up. if you only knew. (laughs) Okay. The fact that hoodie, when they were holding hands, she said, I love you, but then she said, I love you, ugly. <laughs> Even though that was the friendship, I love you. If I, like, that, that, that's them kind of really confessing to each other. Even though it probably doesn't count until, like, you know, officially we get that confession between the two. But, yeah, I mean, Toru is right that Hori is in love. Yeah, I mean, it's obvious. They're just like I said, they belong to each other. They just fit. Like two pieces of a puzzle. Like peanut butter and jelly, macaroni and cheese. Um, What else goes together? Ketchup and mustard? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it just works. And they're just adorable together. Like, I can't. I mean, they're always hanging out, and it's like that. It it just gives you the feeling of like before, what um, what it's normally like, especially with like any relationship or friendship with a guy and a girl. They can be friends without you know having feelings towards each other, but it's it's just obvious with these two. And slowly but surely, it is evolving into you know. A relationship. And of course, you know, probably by the end of this series, maybe they'll do like a flash forward. Or maybe even at the halfway point. Like probably, what, by the time they graduate. And let's say, you know, we flash forward four years into the, four or five years into the future. And maybe some of the characters have gone to college, you know, working, whatever. And they still are continuing their friendship or relationship. And maybe it has evolved to a point where, yeah, now they're dating and then everyone's hanging out with each other even more, even though, you know, you have school and jobs and just like that. Who knows? But, I mean, it was cute. I mean, heck, even them watching a horror movie together was adorable because, see, I'm going to use this as an example. As someone who loves horror films, I feel like there's going to be a point in time, because this has already kind of happened to me once with um, my previous boyfriend. <laughs> We were having a conversation about horror movies, and he asked me um, if I liked horror movies. I was like, oh, heck yeah. I was like, I love horror movies. Horror movies are good as heck. And I, I, you know, if you know me and my story about, you know, me uh, as a kid scared to the crap of hating horror movies to then after the point where when I look at horror movies because of this trick my parents taught me, I love horror movies now. Um... And he got all sad. (laughs) Because, you know how, like, in most relationships, you know, when a girl is afraid of horror movies, you know, like, a guy, like, shields them and it's alright. And I I asked him, I was like, oh, is it because? 
if I went into a horror movie that she would have did this and he was like yeah and I was like aww I was like it's okay I was like don't worry maybe one day I'll pretend and just be scared to be okay <laughs> and I will still do that <laughs> with any other guy that I go with because I mean you know just to have them like that one moment where they can like boost their ego and it's like that but it was cute that um <laughs> Out of the two, it was Mia who was more afraid rather than Hori, and like Hori was the one who was kind of comforting him, which is cute. It's different because normally you think it's a girl who would be freaked out about it, but no, I mean like it's adorable. It's so fucking adorable. I can't like. Mm. I I just can't with these two. Just you know, let them be together. Let you know, let them both realize and finally confess to each other, even though we're three episodes into this show, three. Let them confess. But other than that, <laughs> other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode three of Honey Mia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode four. Bye, guys.